Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Well I'm sorry it's been a while since I've made any new videos, I've been quite busy, that old chestnut. But today I've come back with a brand new video and I've got to show you this brand new vacuum actually. This is a vintage 1980s Electrolux model Z2020 cylinder cleaner. I got it from that lovely seller on eBay that seems to randomly every now and again pop on some brand new inbox cleaners from the 80s and 90s and um, I had the opportunity for about three or four years ago to buy one of these um, and I just passed it up and I don't know why because I regretted not getting one um, I think I bought an Electrolux Dolphin instead from the same seller uh, but this one's um, a little bit older than a Dolphin um, this machine's actually based on a uh, Electrolux 350. Uh, this was like the updated version. Uh, but I'm glad I finally got one anyway. So uh, I've got my scissors ready. So I'll move the camera and uh, we'll get a bit of a closer shot of the box and we'll get opening this. Alright then, so let's get into this. So this bubble wrap smells very musty. It smells like it's been in a shed or something for God knows how many years. But I have found that with this cellar that everything seems to smell. The machines inside don't tend to be too bad I've found, but the packaging always smells. I suppose it has been stored for many years. Let's just get the bubble wrap off. So this is factory sealed. Brand new in the box. I think it's from about 1987. I know a few collectors have um, bought this machine because they have got quite a few of these and uh, theirs all seem to be from 1987 so I'm assuming this one will be as well. Bit of a residue on the box. You can see we've still got the, um, what do you call those, little straps that um, have been put round it. They do have a name. Anyone remember the name of those? Can't, the name escapes me right now. Comment below if you can remember. But anyway, um, what have we got on this side? Alright, so it's just basically the same picture on uh, both sides of the box. And then on this side, we've got, um, again, uh, some branding there. Thought there might be a date on here, but the, it's just a sticker telling you the um, part number. Alright, so it looks like it opens this way, so we're going to cut these ties off. And I think it's just a case of opening it up. So let's just move these out of the way. I was thinking there was going to be some glue, but uh, there isn't. Okay. I can see it already. Exciting. So this is what we've got. So, first thing out of the box we have the uh, extension wand. Oh it's very strange. This hasn't been touched since the 80s. It's kind of weird. That's a nice aluminium tube. Pretty typical sort of um, metal tube from Electrolux of this era. So a nice plastic coating inside so the, the um, hose will fit in there nice and securely. That's the wand. So here we have the hose, it's a plastic hose, seems to be a decent length, a bit dusty from storage, um, it appears to be a brown colour, thinking this was going to be black but it's brown, swivels at this end, I assume it swivels at this end as well, it does, quite a typical Electrolux fit in there. Assume this hose is crush proof, it feels like it would be, there's no wires in there. You've got a sort of 
suction control on there. Needs a bit of a polish because it's um, been stored for so long. But there's the uh, the holes anyway. So we have two spare bags, is it? So two original Electrolux paper bags. I do have, um, when I bought this machine, um, I actually bought some those, you know, microfiber bags, the um, sort of fleece type ones, I guess you'd call them, the HEPA style. Um, so I'll keep these. These are only, I imagine they're only single layer. Oh no, they are a double, double layer bag there. You can separate them. See, there's two layers. But yeah, I'll keep these original, including the one that's inside, and put the um, microfiber type ones in it because I'm sure it'll make the machine perform better without um, as much of a drop in suction. Plus it'll keep the machine cleaner. I do plan on using this machine. So here we have the floor tool, all sealed up. Still smells new inside, funnily enough. Still smells brand new. Well, it is, but you know, it's not factory fresh though, is it? It's not just come off the line. You wouldn't think it was stored for 20 odd years. 30, is it 30? 30 plus years now. Still thinking that the 90s is 10 years ago. So, there you go. But anyway, yeah, it still smells brand new. We've got the. Uh, Nice bit of Electrolux branding on there. There's the pedal. You push that down, which brings the brushes down there for hard floors. And when you press this pedal again, the brushes retract. Two lint pickers on there, which is good. And then you got the side suction channels as well. What's good about this is the opening in the middle is open completely. I had a similar floor tool, wouldn't be exactly like this, but it was similar on an Electrolux Dolphin and it had like um, a plastic um, grid, if you like, in the middle, a grill, and everything used to get trapped, which was a bit silly, but standard 32mm, um, but yeah, I like the look of that floor tool, that looks really cool, very 80s. So here we have the um, butterfly tool, still all sealed up, been shrink wrapped by the looks of it. Now this was a really good design from Electrolux. I do like this tool. Um, I don't find that it performs very well as an upholstery tool, but it's a very good dusting brush. But I do like the design, I think it's really ingenious. So here we have the, um, the dusting brush side, feels like soft natural bristles, got a piece of uh, rubber in there to protect any scratching if you're dusting, pressing down too hard. And these wings open out here, you see, and that's your upholstery tool, but you see like there's no lint pickers on it or anything, so, oh there's um. Okay, I didn't. I'm not seeing that before on one of these. It's actually got a rubber. You see that in the middle? There's a rubber strip, so that probably will help with um, picking up lint and fibres. I've never seen that before on one of these Electrolux two-way cleaning tools. So I'll be interested to see how well that works. I'm quite impressed with that. So to use that as a dusting brush, you put the you put the hose in this way, I can line it up, I'm scared not to scuff it I think, there you go, the hose goes in that way, and to use it as a upholstery tool you slide the hose in the dusting brush side, and then open out the wings, you've got your traditional upholstery tool there, very good design. That's that. We've got the uh, 
pretty standard looking, a bit dusty. Electrolux crevice tool. Quite a decent length. And here we have the um, blower converter, so you slide that over the exhaust grill um, on the machine and then you can screw the hose in and use it as a blower. Alright, so that's everything, the small parts out of the box, so let's take this piece off the top here. It wants to let go of the plastic. <laughs> this tape's still t sticky after all these years, can you believe it? So of course we have, um, what's this? Guarantee card, is it? So to extend your um, guarantee, I suppose. It says the above prices. Sorry, the above prices are applicable from January 1986. So I think we're a bit. Uh, bit late for that one. I think it shows the different um, service organisations on the back there in the UK. So you've got the, okay so that's your registered guarantee card. If you send that off to Electrolux Limited in Luton which is in Bedfordshire. It was, I don't know if it's still there. tells you about um, about using shake and vac basically so it tells you if you're going to use it that you have to change the bag after you've used it which makes sense because it clogs your vacuum ridiculously quickly especially with paper bags so there we have the manual nice illustrations there So there we go. And of course we also have an air freshener included with this. I don't think I'll use that. Might keep that keep that new. Look how 80s that packaging is. It's fabulous, isn't it? But yeah, that fits on the upright models it fits in the this type filter and this is the cylinder version. It slide, slides into a little pocket. So lastly we have the cleaner itself. Which is just a uh, got to take the bag off. Oh I do like the look of this. Oh doesn't that look nice? It's a bit of a polish but Wow, that is very nice. So yeah, it is from 1987, March to be exact. But yes, that's very nice, isn't it? So we've got a little swing ticket on there, which says, see that, BAB approved. Yeah, it's very nice. Let's just um, open the bag compartment. This feels very good plastic, very typical of Electrolux, this type of plastic. They were very, um, very solid machines. Electrolux did tend to make um, higher quality plastics than Hoover did back in the day. Just pull the bag out. So these are quite large bags, really. I've got this slide clip on the back there so you can reuse it, which people tended to do back then. And we have the pre-filter. So it's going to pop out. Yeah, oh. 
Crikey, you could put your makeup on in that um, melter, couldn't you? Look at that. Shine on that. But yeah, that's where the uh, the air freshener goes. you think they'd have put one in for you, wouldn't they? And then give you a spare one. But I suppose they were tight on money back in those days, weren't they? Still didn't you give you out for now, did they? So it looks like the plastic's very good. It's like um, it's like a brown and sort of an off-white. It's not white white. It's like an off-white. Um, you can see on the back door there we've got the sales sticker from where it would have um, been in the shop, so you could read that and decide whether you wanted to purchase it or not. So that was their slogan at the time, by the looks of it. You can rely on Electrolux. Free Electrolux quality care, five year parts guarantee. 1100 watts super boost, sliding electronic power control, large 7 litre reusable dust bag, including electro electronic dust bag check indicator, new electronic 2020 super boost. They like to use this word a lot in the 80s electronic. So I'll just pop the bag back in for now. And I'll get some um, microfiber ones in there. It doesn't seem like it fits very securely. Let's hope that that's in. Seems to be. Let's pop the back door back on. Oh, very nice. So here's your uh, on off switch. We've got the card rewind here, which. Uh, has a fitted plug. Um, I think they did advertise it as a with a fitted plug at the time. This kind of era of vacuum um, you used to fit the plugs yourself and uh, it was actually a selling point to have a moulded plug at this particular time. I don't think it was until the mid 90s that they started attaching plugs um, mainstream. So let's just pull all the card out and see How long it is. Well, it doesn't seem to be that long. It's probably about standard for a cylinder, I imagine, probably about five meters. Good quality card though. Seems to be a black colour. You think they'd have matched it brown, wouldn't you, with the machine? But anyway, let's see how how well it rewinds in. Crikey. I couldn't even keep hold of the plug then, it ripped it out my hand. Jesus. I'd won that first for a while. Well, there we go. So there's your electronic speed control anyway. At 400 all the way up to 900 and then you've got your super boost. There we go. So it, it does lock into position rather than just be like a kettle design. So it says that the filter slides out. Well, that's the idea anyway. There we go. So we've got um, a little bit of a perished, I might uh, replace that, sort of a diffuser, it's a bit bit perished, it's squashing and it's not bouncing back so I think I'll leave that out. But yeah there's a micro filter there as well. Oh well, there's another one further inside the machine which is probably perished as well but not much I can do about that really. So uh, this adapter that I was talking about slides on here like this and then you attach the hose to it. Is that as much as it goes? Yeah, seems to be in. Now you have a, a blower. So 
that's that. So let's pop the filter back on. I'll leave the diffuser out for now. See if I can get this back on. It's proved quite tricky, isn't it? It's, of course, it's new. There we go. That's then. Right, so I'll just pause and I'll change the bag for a um, microfiber type one and we'll test this out. So these were the bags that I bought. They were £10 for 10. Electrolux 350 2020 bags and maybe other models that these fit in the Electrolux cylinder range. So here they are. Um, a bit of a different shape, I guess, than the original ones, but they apparently still fit. So we'll just pop one of those in now. So they fit in just in the same way. Of course you have to bend the tab down there. So they're a bit, um, a bit small, aren't they? They're not going to hold a lot of dirt. I thought they'd be bigger than that, but anyway, that's in securely. You want to make sure that it's seated incorrectly because otherwise dirt will come out. We don't want that. Right, so that's in there. So we'll pop the bag door back on. Attach the hose. Looks like there was um, a provision for a power head socket there. I don't know if we ever got one of those in the UK, but um, there's certainly a cutout for one. That's the hose locked in place. Pop the wand on, that's a nice tight fit. The Butterfly tool here, the two-way cleaning tool, slides onto this hook on the back of the handle, nice and securely. There's no um, onboard storage for the crevice tool, so you've just got to store that separately wherever you wanted to stick that. It's entirely up to you. Okay, so we'll pop the floor head on. So there's no way of adjusting the Height. Well, that's just a good height for me, actually, but if you were taller or shorter, you're stuck, really. That's all you get. So, first impressions, it's quite manoeuvrable. Moves quite nicely. So, we'll pull the card out here and get it switched on. Really impressed with the rewind on this. It's pretty long. Oh, sorry, pretty long. Pretty strong. Not long on the mind. <laughs> right. So I don't know if it's going to turn on or not, but here goes. <laughs> As you can hear that's lovely and smooth. A bit of um, black residue on there now, I don't know where that's come from. But yeah, it will need a polish. Let's just show you the machine here. I'll just pop the hose off for it just for a second and I'll show you the electronic control. So that's on 400.
that is a very good quality sounding machine. You don't get motors that sound like that anymore. Not even from Miele. So, there we go. So I think I'll put it onto 900, which is the maximum of the variable control. And we'll just have a go of it here. Very quiet, by the way. So, actually, feeling this now, the hose is a little bit short. But anyway, here we go. Let's give it a whirl. See the back check indicator there. That is pretty powerful for the for an 80s vacuum. It's pretty good suction. So let's once again rewind the cord and hopefully I can keep hold of the plug this time. That is very strong. You'd certainly want to hold the plug while you're um, rewinding that one, otherwise it might rip something off that you don't want. So, there we have it. So, I know there's unboxings already and um, demos of this machine, so I didn't want to go into too much detail, I just wanted to show you it. And I have to say I'm very pleased with it. I think after a bit of a polish off, get some of these dirty marks off here. That's from, I think that's from the, that uh, diffuser filter. It's sort of got all sticky. But anyway, after a, a bit of a polish, I think this will look really nice. Definitely uh, factory fresh looking, isn't it? So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, if you liked, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more from me, and I'm hoping to make more videos this year, I need to get back to it really, because I've got about 3,000 subscribers. I know on the grand scheme of things that's not a lot for YouTube, but that's a lot of people to um, to just ignore, isn't it? So, um, yeah, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more from me, and uh, comment below if you have any questions, and uh, there we go. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Take care.